Hello, welcome to VMware ARIA Guardrails. My name is Angie DeWalt, and in this video, I will discuss what ARIA Guardrails is and where we are today with the development. A little bit of housekeeping. This presentation may contain product features or functionality that is currently under development and the features are subject to change. So let's dive into it. Before I touch on guardrails, I want to explain the umbrella it's under, VMware ARIA. ARIA is a multi-cloud management system built for cloud native and public cloud environments. It provides end-to-end -end tools for managing the cost, performance, configuration, and the delivery of cloud infrastructure and cloud native applications, enabling companies worldwide to effectively and efficiently use the cloud. ARIA is comprised of guardrails, migration, and business insights. Cloud Guardrails is a new feature suite from ARIA Automation that is currently released for Tech Preview. Tech Preview means that not all functionality and capabilities are currently available, but we are releasing incremental capabilities to gather customer feedback. You'll see this feature suit grow in capabilities over the next several releases. Now let's review what Guardrails is. VMware ARIA Guardrails is a multi-cloud governance and policy management capability. It automates the enforcement of cloud guardrails for networking, security, cost, performance, and configuration at scale for multi-cloud environments with an infrastructure and policy as code approach. With guardrails, customers can ensure their environments and apps are secure, apps are performing and available, and cloud costs are optimized across public clouds. Cloud ops, cloud security, and IT finance teams want to ensure that workloads are always compliant against best practice guardrails. Cloud guardrails allows the cloud ops teams to manage their compliance posture across cloud organization setup, network, IAM, and security across any public cloud managing both greenfield and brownfield cloud environments. Guardrails are instantiated and discovered to ensure applications are compliant with policies at all times. When the applications don't comply with policies, guardrails will provide consolidated visibility across all violations at an application level and provide automated remediations, which are customizable per the needs of the customer. So how do we achieve this unified framework for creating policy, enforcing policy, and remediating violations for all our applications? This is done through cataloging and categorizing the various policies that extend vRealize, Cloud Health, and the Salt Stack products provide. We will deliver a central unified management of cloud policy across the multiple clouds. Policy will be continuously enforced across various business applications and across categories with recommendations provided to improve the health of the application. There are significant challenges to maintain operational standards. These include manual account provisioning and deprovisioning, de which can be time consuming and error prone leading to security risks if accounts are not properly deprovisioned when someone leaves the organization. Inconsistent standards and use of tools per environment can make it difficult to manage and maintain environments, especially if different teams are using different tools or following different standards. Insufficient context of environments can make it difficult to troubleshoot issues or make changes to environments, especially if there's no documentation or knowledge transfer when someone leaves the organization. Configuration drift occurs when the configuration of a system or application changes over time, either intentionally or unintentionally. 
This can lead to inconsistencies and errors that can be difficult to detect and resolve. Overall, cloud services can be complex and it can be difficult to stay up to date with best practices and emerging trends. It's important to invest in training, tooling, and education to ensure that the staff have the necessary knowledge and skills to effectively manage and secure cloud services. Let's address how guardrail can mitigate those challenges. To ensure consistency and reliability, it's important to establish clear IAC standards for new and existing environments and hosts. This includes dividing standards for things like naming conventions, resource provisioning, security and compliance requirements, as well as deployment procedures. Guardrails allows you to define and enforce these standards you can ensure that infrastructure is consistently managed and provisioned, which can lead to reduced errors and improve overall system reliability. As mentioned, VMware ARIA guardrails is currently available as a technical preview only. It is currently under ARIA automation, but will make it under ARIA hub in the future. Because it's aligned with VMware ARIA automation, the updates have been released alongside 8.11.0 January 2023 release of ARIA automation. On the roadmap for the near future is initial availability. You can gain access to ARIA guardrails today in beta for free with no restrictions, as well as an opportunity to provide feedback for initial availability. As you see here, ARIA guardrails is in the ARIA automation UI. If you have the tile enabled, you'll see it there. The UI will change when it's imported into Hub, however, the functionality will be the same. Within guardrails tech preview, you will be able to see the cloud environments you are connected to and the states of those environments. Customers will be able to create desired states and guardrails will make the necessary steps to correct them. Another function of guardrails is temporary access to the environment for instances like developers wanting to deploy and develop an application and giving them temporary access to that environment. Finally, you can test against templates to compare the current state to the desired state, allowing you to strengthen your security. You can gain access to ARIA guardrails today in beta for free with no restrictions. This is an introduction of what's to come in the future and what's available now. Thank you for watching this video.